Welcome to Sunday Football, Andrew Voss with you. ANZ Stadium, the venue, round three of the National Rugby League competition. And it is the defending premiers against the Melbourne Storm. And it's the Storm first out. One win and one loss to start the 1999 season. Most disappointing last week in their loss to Balmain, though. 16 points to six. Described by Glenn Lazarus as their worst performance ever. This is their side. Ross, Gaia, Bell, Martin and Bai. The halves, Hill and Kamali. And the forwards, Dickow, Kearns, Kearney, Evans, Swain and Lazarus. Paul Horton, Stephen Kearney, builders. The best off-season buy. Yeah, 26 test veteran for New Zealand. He's played with West and also Walken. And Melbourne have bought him, but he hasn't really hit the form we know he's capable of. Maybe today's the day. He's a great ball runner and can offload in tra traffic. And that's what Chris Anderson wants him to do today. Wonderful offloader of the football, Stephen Kearney. And now the reigning champions, the Brisbane Broncos. The Generals leading them out, Langer and Walters. But they are 0 and 2 to start the year. Who would have thought that? Raging hot favourites to win a third straight premiership. This is their side, Lockyer. To Kiri, only his second game. Devere, Carroll, Sailor, Walters and Langer. The forwards, Ryan, Thorne, Tallis, G, Lee and Webke. Peter Sterling, welcome Peter Ryan. The man who was voted last year as the hardest hitter in the game. Yes, but unfortunately he went over the top a couple of times last season and had a couple of suspensions. One forcing him to miss the grand final. Much of his role today will be to close down the halves for Melbourne. Kamali and Hill are fine players for the Storm. And yes, he is one of the best hitters in the game. 132 first grade games under his belt. In steamy conditions and ready for a kickoff. Bill Harrigan blows time on. The Storm get things underway. And Langer, a mistake straight from the kickoff. Pressure on Brisbane with Webke from the in goal. The worst possible start for Brisbane. And this is pile driving defence from Melbourne, and they can't push the big man back. And now Andrew G. And a little clip there from Nickow. Watch the kickoff again. He's had an air swing now. Didn't appear to take his eye off the ball. He just missed it. So Brisbane under pressure with Thorne. To the 20 metre line. Philip Lee has dummy half duties to start this match. A very competitive position this year. The hooking position and they've made a mistake too. From the ruck, a forward pass. So everything going Melbourne's way in the first 60 seconds. Here is Swain to the right hand side. Kamali darting up to the line and getting the pass for Kearns. The defence stood back and waited. Walters makes the tackle. Swain to the left. Kamali a juggle. Two attempts at taking it. On the spin was Hill. And three Broncos defenders there. And to the right again. Kamali, they try the high ball this time. Young Takiri is under trouble. The pass has come back in. And Nickow scores for Melbourne. Well, Lodi Takiri and all sorts of problems on the left wing. And Melbourne have come up with a four-pointer. Yeah, and give him an enormous wrap here for Matt Guyer. Kamali, he's tried a couple of kicks already in the opening minutes of this game. This one was going over the head of Wendell Saylor. It looked like it was going to go out. And the number two, Matt Geyer, reaches out, bats the ball back. It definitely goes backwards behind one Storm player. And the number 13, Nick Howe, comes through to get the opening four. In fact, it's Takiri. Uh, no, it's Nick Howe. Yeah, Nick Howe. And uh, Matt Guy, one of the Storm's better players in last week's uh, debacle against... The Tigers did very well. They would have practiced this quite a few times at training, but Nickow did well because most lumbering forwards back on the inside would think, well, this is dead, there's nothing doing, but he just followed up and got the dregs. 15 points his tally for this year, and his first attempt is across the face, but Melbourne off to the start they wanted. Here at ANZ Stadium, the Storm 4, the Broncos nil. So Melbourne, some good defence, but a let off with some and stray Brisbane handling. Tony Martin, sip and receiver on for Webke. They come. This is Young Evans, player who spent some time in the wilderness in Perth after being a star schoolboy player. And Melbourne get another penalty. The call is clear from Bill Harrigan. Penalties late in the tackle count really hurt a side. That was on number four. It's the Brisbane players not making the effort to get back that extra metre. 
Now Melbourne work forward with Kearns. Inside the Broncos 40. And up it comes for Evans. He's desperate to get the pass away, but pushed back in the tackle. And all the time he was having a glance up, trying to find a runner. Nickow, inside ball. Bowden is the man on the end of that pass. And now inside the Broncos 20. First touch, a good one for Russell Bowden. Kamali with a dummy, and Kamali goes straight through. And Brisbane, well, I don't know whether they're falling apart, but they're in awful trouble as Hill scores Melbourne's second try. Well, a tremendous play the ball from Russell Bowden as well. Gave Kamali plenty of space. You can see them celebrating. He threw the dummy on the inside. They fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. The Brisbane defence coming up. You could see it looks like Sivan Asiva had absolutely no idea. With Kamali coming across, he was looking for the inside pass to be thrown, and the fact that he didn't stay out on his man opened up a big hole for the number seven to slide through. Ah, shocking defence. So Brisbane, I mean, they're the, the premiers, but they look lethargic. There's no snappiness in their play in either attack or defence. They've copped up the ball about five times already, and that was all too easy. A great set of halves, Kamali and Hill, and wonderful work by them. Gaia, right in front. And 10-0 it is. Glenn Lazarus on the sideline for the Storm. 13 minutes gone. They've used up five Brisbane. And Ryan, looking for Langer, low kick, right underneath the black dot, bouncing everywhere. That could be a try. Lockyer only had to get a hand to it. It was an awkward ball for both attacking and defending team. And that's why we're going to the video replay to see if Darren Lockyer got the hand on the ball. Well, they don't look confident, do they? No, I don't think he has. You can generally tell from the posture of the players at the end of it, the way they react. No, he's missed it. No try. Yeah, it's a knock on there. Kevy cleaned it up. Had Locker have missed it, it would have been a try with Walters, but uh, he did get a touch knock on. But the Melbourne Storm, there was plenty of space there. No cover at all. The call of no try. Pretty confident. On a big front rower. And Brisbane... He had a few chances inside the Melbourne 20. Langer, a dummy, and half through and gets the pass away for Campion. They need something from their top shelf players. Langer is provided. The Broncos are on the board. And they're all on the board against the run of play. It must be said, chances down the other end. And once again, it is Alan Langer who has come up with something a little bit special just when needed. Throws the dummy, slides through. A very select pass to Kevin Campion, who is by far the best support player to pick up. But I'm sure that Chris Anderson will be absolutely ropeable. The one instruction he would have given to his players is that when Alan Langer has got the football, you make sure you tackle him. You don't fall for a dummy. If he's got the football, he is the most dangerous person. And they just overread the play on that occasion. This will be converted by Lockyer, and we've got a four-point ball game. So Lockyer, an extra two. Here at ANZ Stadium, Melbourne, 10, leading the Broncos, 6. What a great skill there from Darren Lockyer. Most fullbacks would have probably dived on that or actually then when they picked it up, stopped and tried to get back into the play. He gets it on the run and increases his speed when he gets it. It's a miracle pick up. What a good player. Well, big play here because Brisbane have conceded a penalty for incorrect play the ball. Watch it again. And Takiri is the man penalised, just rolling the ball between his legs. It's 20 metres out, just to the side of the post. For a six-point lead for his side. Not a great deal of power on the kick, but good enough to get the two. So 12-6 the scoreline here. Swain will play the full 80 minutes today. No Denny Williams on the interchange bench. It comes back for Kamali. Here's the high ball. And Lockyer will be forced back, running back towards his own post. Akiri lets it bounce, and it'll come up for the easiest Melbourne try you'll see all year. Bellas claimed it, and it's 16 points to six. Well, it might have been a tough ball to take, but somebody had to try and get there and get it on the fall, and I think that fell to Lockyer. It's a marvellous kick, but look at the time he's got. Last tackle, no pressure coming through until right at the death. Puts up the big bomb, it's swirling around, and, I, and Lockyer... Or to carry had to get in a position and take the ball on the fall. A lack of communication and a lack of commitment. That's ordinary stuff just before half time. A wonderful kick from Kamali. He's had a great first half today. Brett Kamali really got his runners going. He's had a couple of darts himself. And this just lands right in the middle of them. They're not even talking to each other. 
Well, Lockie might have said, hey, it's yours, bud. But all too late for Takiri. Dyer, another shot, and he's on target. Well, it's going to be quite a margin, it seems, at half-time. 12 points it is, 18-6, Steve Roach. What did you make of this try for Paul Bell? Well, I just reckon that the, the Melbourne Storm's enthusiasm is, is far outweighing the, the Brisbane Broncos at the moment. Everyone on their side is getting involved in everything. Kick chase, look at the chase there. Plenty of Melbourne players around the football, and quite simply, and quite a simple try in the end. In that situation, Carroll wasn't able to come up with a catch in an attacking situation. Oh, there's almost a high tackle there from Thorne. Looked a bit ungainly coming out of the line for Brisbane. And Kamali. Thought about kicking from inside the 40. Marquette back for Swain. There was pressure on Swain. He did very well. Last tackle now for the Storm. Nickow. For Kamali. They're allowed to run on the last tackle with Tony Martin. Pye was on his outside. Martin gets a kick in which finds the line. But the design was to be an attacking kick. He finds the line 10 metres out from the Brisbane try line. A good option taken there from the Melbourne side. And again, that will put some doubt in their opponent's mind for the second half. Obviously, running the ball on the last tackle, is a, it's a tremendous option because the wingers invariably go back. You have a shortened defensive line. And the good thing for Melbourne there was when they ran out of space, they got the kick in. Well, no time to even pack down the scrum before the halftime break. 40 minutes gone here at ANZ Stadium and the Premiers are in trouble. The Melbourne Storm, three tries to one in the first half. They lead by 18 points to six. You have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. Are you ready to fly? something better, meaner, wilder. Let's get ready to rumble! Would you be interested in having an affair? Straight into football cyclone! I don't believe it! The greatest show on earth. How good is this? This is the greatest show on the lane. Man Called Otto is life-affirming and joyous. Don't brag. It's how movies are meant to make us feel. My life was black and white before Sonya. She was the color. Well, it's, it's one of Tom Hanks' best performances. Otto! A Man Called Otto in cinemas now. Hair loss? Consult Advanced Hair Studios Clinic and regain a full head of hair, as did cricket legends Jacques Callis and Surav Ganguly and tennis legend Pat Cash. I love my hair then, still do. And that's why I'm seeing Advanced Hair Clinic their amazingly effective treatments have stopped my hair loss and regenerated hair where I was losing it. Advanced Hair Clinic. They're the world champions in hair restoration. Call Advanced Hair Studio now. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Oh. So you do like it? I okay. love it, yeah! yeah. Now when you go pre-owned, you can enjoy the same feeling you get with a new Toyota. Tested and backed by Toyota. Upgrade your car, mate. This? Yeah, no big deal. Toyota certified. Pre-owned in a class of its own. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Be healthy. Be determined. Be like Rick. Every month I was getting bigger. At 165 kilo, couldn't do anything. At the moment I'm sitting around 105. I got onto OptiMan simply because driving trucks, there's no healthy options, so much easier with the shakes. It actually suppresses my hunger. I'll have one of them three, four hours, I'm good to go. I feel fantastic. Start your journey your way at optislim.com.au or at these leading retailers. True skill. It's easy to see if you know where to look. Steel Blue. Well, here at ANZ 
Ted Stadium. Melbourne up by 12 points as we head into the second 40 minutes. Three tries to one in that first half. Melbourne, early points. I don't know whether you can close out a side like Brisbane, but the way they're travelling, if Melbourne would come up with an early strike, just about prepared to, to write off the Brisbane chances in this one. Lazarus backs up to the 30 metre line. Bowden backs land by G. And Swain on for Lazarus. Again, he turns side on as he gets to the defence. The Melbourne Storm captain. Swain, Kamali, 40 metres out. It's a quick hand from Hill for Martin. Then on for Boy. Boy is 20 metres out. Inside the ball comes. And Melbourne have got another one. Robbie Ross scores it. Brilliant play by the Melbourne Storm. Oh, absolutely. This is shades of Parramatta in the 80s at their best. You're thinking Sterling to Kenny Dewella. In this case, it's the Melbourne Storm. There's plenty of defence there for Brisbane. But the Storm just had one too many. Lovely ball, that from Tony Martin. Why did Wendell come in? Who, who knows? Alfie couldn't get by. And the way that Vi just hung in, didn't go into touch, was fantastic. And the Storm is at the end of the Broncos for the day. I'd say not. They can come back. Oh, gee, that is a really bad decision from Wendell Saylor, isn't it? As you pointed out, Paul, they had plenty of troops there. If Wendell just drifts across, there's no problem. The inside men would have got Martin, and Wendell Saylor would have stayed with Marcus By. As it turned out, pushes off the tackle of Alan Langer, draws the last player, who was Michael Devere, back inside to the supporter. Robbie Ross, a very simple try, made simple by one defensive mistake. Geyer brings it around, Matt Geyer. This is good for Melbourne. 24 to 6 here at ANZ Stadium. And now Swain comes up for Kearney. Spinning in the tackle. Almost getting through. Paddy made the comment before the match that Kearney hasn't really produced his best yet. I think the same could still be said on today's effort. Which I guess is a positive. The best is yet to come as Martin gets over the 30 middle line. Tony Martin's away from Melbourne. He's only got to beat Bill Harrigan to get there. He outsprints him to score underneath the blacktop. Well, for those people who thought that this year was a lay-down misere for Brisbane to win a competition, they'll be changing their assessment after what we've seen here at ANZ this afternoon. An awful miss here from Walker, young Walker in the centres. Martin steps inside, brushes through the number 18, goes in field. Darren Lockyer, who hasn't been out there long since getting the, the bandage around the head, beaten also. And Martin just takes it around under the post. We've seen some simple tries scored. But, Paul, I've got to say that for Melbourne, you know, we, we talk about their halves, we talk about their forwards. For me, the unsung heroes have always been their centres. Uh, great players. Out of the way, Bill. Look out, son. Here I come. Yes, both good centres, Tony Martin and Paul Bell. And uh, this Brisbane defence today, you for mine, you can't defend going backwards. And that's what they're trying to do. And on that occasion... Walker was on the back foot, he was tripping over himself, and as soon as the little bit of skill was put on him by Martin, he was gone. Paul, the rule of slide defence, of course, always, is that you stay on the inside. At that stage, you look to be man on man. You can't defend that way. Billy Harrigan speed. He just wanted to get in the shot, mate. <laughs> well, it's a loud shirt. Matt Guy right in front for Melbourne. This to take the margin to 24 points. And there it is. It's a little stab kick from Gaia. 30 points to six blocker. Roach, can you believe it? Oh, I can't believe how flat the Melbourne, uh, the, the Brisbane Broncos are. Too many players going to the tackle. Easy sort of stuff. I probably You wouldn't realise how much they're missing Darren Smith. That wouldn't have happened if he was playing. And there he goes. Tony Martin to score the try easily for the Melbourne Storm. Right under the post. No cover coming. Last tackle now for the Broncos. Walters calling the shots at first receiver. He comes back to the left. Now will run Kevin Walters. He's running out of teammates. The pass comes up and Rorty accepts the intercept. It is most unbrisbane like Yeah, there's some resignation in their play out there as well. When Alan Langer was tackled there, it just didn't look like a player who thought that his side could get back into this. The same with Kevin Walters. Again, you just look at the way that the players are reacting and, and they don't look as though they feel as though they can go on and win this one. Some great sport happening on Channel 9 right at the moment. A reminder of the Telstra Australian Swimming Championships. They continue tonight. 
Rabbits with all the action from the Chandler Aquatic Centre. As Melbourne make another bust. Oh, they're swimming here as well. This is Perkins Hackett, four ball in one. Supreme performance by Melbourne and Ross scores again. Yeah, Robbie Ross gets his second. Some very good lead up work involving Scott Hill. Some nice interplay on the fringe of the ruck. Just a short ball. And, well, this score line is, is becoming quite remarkable. Lovely little pass there again. Very poor reading from the defence from Brisbane. Good support play, and the support play has been a feature for the Storm this afternoon. But just no urgency. What's the outside player? Well, he might be out of shot. But he certainly doesn't come in and, and try and make up for what's happened on the inside. Yeah, nice ball from Bowden, who's been a tower of strength since he's come on. The interchange. The, a conversion here would equal Brisbane's worst ever defeat in their history. And their worst ever was 38 to 8 at the hands of Cronulla in 1988 down at uh, Caltex in Deverfield. Shark Park. And the boys are happy. They've done the hard work. They're getting the rewards. Down Lazarus on the bench. Bobby Ross, a second try for the day. And Matt Geyer is getting all his kicks with close range. He strikes a few of them a little strangely. I almost swear he duffed his last kick. His maximum height was when it got over the crossbar. This one's a little better. A bit of drive in it. And there it is. 36 to 6 Melbourne over the Premier's Brisbane. And Plath to the right, Langer still probing. Walker over the top they come. Some heavy treatment. Martin was low, never looked like missing. And away from dummy half goes Plath. Some quick exchanges here. Walker is with it. 10 metres out. Can't unload to Sailor. Last tackle. Sailor, they come infield. It's a crook old pass from Wendell. Langer kicks across field. And they may have got a flying start there to Kiri. It won't matter because Melbourne have come up with it. And Matt Geyer is the player. Hasn't really had a lot to do on that right wing in this second half, but he did that extremely well. His by 15 out. Watch the take again of Matt Geyer on the end of this kick with two Broncos coming down. I don't want to put the slipper in, but I'll ask a former Manly International and a former Brisbane International who would win if the Broncos played Manly tomorrow. Fatty? Should be a draw. And Wally? Yeah, I don't think you could argue with that. Then again, it may depend on who the referee was. As another Melbourne break opens up an opportunity. Hill. Let the even cover kicks ahead. It's play on for Melbourne, and Kamali is leading the race. Kamali will score again. My dear, they've reached 40. <laughs> oh, and 50's not out of reach. What is happening? Here at ANZ Stadium, the Broncos' blackest day. I don't think that the players can believe it out there. This is something that Brisbane have never been used to. They've never been beaten by big scores. And they get a little bit of luck in this movement, you must say, but they put themselves in the position for it. Some good interplay, another missed tackle. Now, it looked like it had broken down here. Plath got in the middle. He dropped it, actually kicked it back. And Brett Kamali had continued on, put it on the toe. Not an easy pickup, but he does it well. And gets the try. Well, this is just one of those days that Brisbane just say, well, you know, we didn't even turn up. Let's forget about it. Scott Hill, another good performer. They've had a host of great performers because they've got no opposition in front of them at the moment. Mistake after mistake by the Brisbane side. And uh, Kamali, smart play, kept it on the toe. And all too easy. It's just a carve up. And, and Fatty, they have scored their last two tries, haven't they, with Mool and the Sydney? Adding even more credit to Melbourne. It's a 12 man outfit at the moment. That's Mool waiting to come back from the bin. You have to understand it really is a moment of disbelief to see Brisbane on the end of this scoreline. So, Gaia, another one from in front. He's kicking him a little differently now. We'll save for this, Melbourne fans. 42 to 6, 15 remaining. And Matt Geyer, a healthy points tally for him. He hasn't really had many hard conversion attempts. Here is Darren Lockyer. It's becoming quite a routine, this. And Marcus Bai 
goes for the high crap gets the bounce and comes back almost to the 30 meter line it's a, it's a champion team it's sad to see it go like this their start to the year i'm sure they can bounce back here's lazarus almost getting back to the halfway mark well you mentioned about brisbane andrew that next week they travel to shark park on a saturday night not just that out of the next six games they've got five away so uh, don't they need some wins comes here for kearns he's being spun around still able to offload and then a bit of basketball play from the storm kamali fingertip control floating the ball there for martin look out for marcus here he is marcus by almost away from sailor got it on for kamali oh this is beautiful wayne evans a prop lower finishes off as good a movement you'll see melbourne storm this is supreme sorry andrew steve renoff said just after the break that the storm were playing the broncos game and that try was an absolute beauty on the far side they were going nowhere you could actually hear the call someone go forward well they kept the ball alive they've got good second phase play they're going backwards there robbie kearns gets involved in a moment should have been closed down he tries the pass over and kamali i said he had it on a string well he can just do whatever he likes this is a very good ball it's not an easy pass running across field and not throwing it forward and again ordinary communication on this side of the field marcus by little offload kamali He's backed everything up all day, and there's the big front rower, Wayne Evans, ambling across, as good as you'll see. It's novelty day. I mean, you've got second rowers chipping over the top. You've got props running 20 metres, untouched to score tries. A great performance by Melbourne. The, the Brisbane side, they look disjointed. Their heads are down. There's an example of it. Kevy, one of the blackest days in his football career, no doubt about it. And the Melbourne boys are laughing. He's a try scoring machine, Wayne Evans. One for the year. The three over all that. It's 33% of his career tries have come today. As Gaia has this kick from 11 out. Can't recall his kick that's been any wider than two or three metres from the uprights. Either side. Another two. They are closing in on the half-century block of the Shield Finals at the Gabba. Oh, I can't believe it. The first thing you learn as a young bloke is to shut down the play that's been played. Make sure that you make the tackle. It went from one side of the field to the other, then back to the middle again. Evans, their unsung hero, gets to try again for the Melbourne Storm. As Fatty mentioned, untouched. But, geez, played a good game today. Well, I reckon we'll see Brisbane's best part of football coming up in this one. It's only up to the man in the box to make his mind up. It'll give some pleasure, I suppose. A small bit of it. It's a great leap. Yeah, well, that's a knock-on. He's caught the ball, but he's then juggled it forward. It's gone straight into Scott Hill, before it's been reclaimed and put down. And I don't know whether he managed to put that down either without dropping it. Everyone's walking out. The players have given up. They know it's a 20-metre restart. I just don't think they want to look at the red light in the clock. Poor old Lotte to query. He probably had one chance to maybe redeem himself today. Yeah, that could have been it. He just couldn't do it. Yeah, well, he'll be back. He'll be back next week. And I thought Devere was offside in any case on the chase through. Lote to query. Obviously a version we're not aware of, the pronunciation. Here's Kearns, but Fatty does his homework. So we'll go with it for the last 11 seconds. As Chris Anderson, the man expected tomorrow to be announced as the new Australian coach. The time to celebrate, what an honour for Chris Anderson. And that ball has been put down offside. That'll be a scrappy end to this match. Unbelievable. What other word is there for it? Congratulations to the Melbourne Storm. They've hammered, absolutely hammered, the Brisbane Broncos, the defending premiers. That is the story. 48 points.